Hi everyone, Mrs. L here again, ready for another one of our mixed up recipes. And this one is mixed up popcorn. And we're doing it with a kind of St. Patrick's Day theme. So you can see I have green on and we're gonna add some green things to our mixed up popcorn to make it a tasty treat for the leprechauns. So our recipe is right here. And what I've done, I already made a batch so that I can show you the finished product. So I've halved all of my um, ingredients here. So it says six cups of popped popcorn and I only will put three in this because I used three already or three cups of crisp rice cereal squares and I'll use one and a half cups. So that's the way if you're going to make a half of something you have to write it all on your list so that you don't get confused. So here's our popcorn and I got one that has 30% reduced salt, because I don't like real salty things. Maybe you do, but you can use any popcorn. You could even use like butter flavor, it doesn't matter. I have my one cup measure, and I have my bowl. So I'm gonna put three cups in. Doesn't look like that much, but we're gonna add other stuff to it. Okay, so there's my three cups of popcorn. And once I use one of my ingredients, I'm going to put it off to the side so that I don't, I can remember I already used it. So then I need to use some crispy rice squares. And I'm just using the store brand here. You could use the real brand um, at the bottom of this box. So I need one. Oh, I need one and a half cups of this, so let's see how much I have in here. There's one cup, and ooh, maybe I, will I get a, no, I won't get a half a cup. I have to open a new box, that's okay, which I have right here, same thing. So I'll open this, which I always have trouble opening up. I should have cut it, let me get my scissors. Nice kitchen scissors. If you don't have kitchen scissors, you should have mom buy some for your family. They really come in handy. You could cut meat with them or anything. Okay, so you can see the last of that other box has kind of like powdery stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that and start fresh with the new box for my other half cup. So let's do that. Go. That to the side over here. Already been used. And then to make it very St. Patrick's Day, I got some lucky charms because the recipe says to use toasted oat cereal like Cheerios, but I thought this would be a lot more fun and it would fit in with our theme. And for this, I just need a cup. So. Oh yeah, you want to make sure you get a lot of those charms in. See those rainbows and all kinds of fancy things. So there we have those. And the recipe actually calls for peanuts, but I don't like to use peanuts because some people are allergic. So I was trying to think of something green that I could put in and I remember and the stores have the green M&Ms now probably to get ready for St. Patrick's Day. And these are mint flavored. And so I'm just gonna, I already used half a bag. I'm just gonna dump in the other half a bag, just like that, okay? And I'll stir it up. Are you all ready? Where's my big spoon? Okay. And I'll just stir it all up like that. Then, you have to take, it said like a roasting pan, but I'm just using a deep cookie sheet. And you're supposed to spray it with the nonstick spray. But what I like to do is I put parchment paper down, which I use a lot when I'm baking because then the pan doesn't even get dirty. So I'll put a lot of that spray on. And I will dump. 
some my popcorn mixture Put it over there and you kind of spread it around so it gets a little of that spray on it kind of makes it all non-stick and spread it out and you want to make sure you get a little bit of everything in every spot so the m ms are kind of tough to spread out probably because they're heavier than the cereal so kind of spread it out as best you can make it nice and smooth like that okay and i'm just gonna, gonna put this over here for now so that's all ready to go and the next step we have to use the stove so of course you know you're not going to use the stove alone make sure mom or dad is available to help you with that you need a heavy saucepan then i have to put in half a cup of brown sugar brown sugar is the one that gets kind of clumpy and dried out so i always keep it in one of these airtight containers. Uh-oh, there goes our phone. Let's hope somebody else answers the phone. We'll see. Oh, there, somebody's answering it. That's good. That must be my husband upstairs. Okay, and it says to pack it. They always tell you to pack it with brown sugar so that you get the right measurement. So there's my half cup of brown sugar. That's going to go in the pot. And then I need a quarter cup of either butter or margarine. I'm using margarine. And a quarter cup is a half a stick. So I had already used that half a stick for my sample batch. And then we need corn syrup. Corn syrup is a, a thickener. It helps it get very thick and sticky. And I need only an eighth of a cup, which is a little hard to measure, but let's see what we can do. All right, this is a quarter cup measure. So can you guess how much of this I need to fill? What do you think, Chloe? Chloe's half. my videographer or whatever. <laughs> a half of this. I'll have to fill a half of this. You can see how thick this is. So. Try to get it down to the bottom and then squeeze and you can get in half of the quarter cup which is an eighth maybe a little more it's hard hard to judge they should make an eighth cup measure but there's a little bit more that should be fine so we're going to add that to our mix here okay corn syrup Okay, there's two other ingredients that will go in here, but not until after we finish cooking it. All right, so in there, put this over here out of the way. All right, so now I'm going to go to the stove. You want to come around mm -hmm. to the stove? So it says to cook this for either five minutes or until the temperature on a candy thermometer comes to 250. Well, this candy thermometer is about 50 years old, and guess what? It doesn't work. <laughs> Try it. But well, we're going to do our five minutes here, and probably don't need even that much. So what we're making is like a, um, a liquid caramel to pour over our popcorn mixture, okay? And it'll start thickening and melting right away. You cook it on about medium, and that should be good. <clears throat> Keep that going. Once it starts, I'll let it cook, okay? Like that. Chloe, how many minutes are we down to on our video? Nine minutes. Okay, and we're good. Seconds. See, my phone tells us how many minutes we have to go before it conks out. So <laughs> we'll have to make sure we do this fast. Okay, so this is cooking pretty well. You have to kind of keep stirring it, but while it's cooking like that, 
I will show you the book I picked out. Couldn't find a book about popcorn that I liked, but this is a new book called Shea Bob by Bob Shea. And Shea um, is a French word that means at the home of. And this alligator kind of reminded me of a tricky leprechaun. You know how leprechauns are kind of tricky? This guy is tricky. He decides he's going to open a restaurant on his snout, on his big nose, so that he can catch birds on his nose and eat them. And so he creates this little restaurant. He's got the menu and he's got the table and the birds are coming and eating. But what happens is so many birds come, they develop a friendship, they build a whole park around his Shea Bob restaurant and each time he thinks he's going to eat one of the birds, he kind of feels bad, so he doesn't eat them. And by the end of the book, when he has a chance to eat them, because there's a rainstorm, and he tells them, oh, everybody get, get into my mouth and I'll protect you from the rain, he realizes he doesn't want to eat them because they are all his friends. And so they all stay together at Pat Shea Bob's. And the birds built him a little, like, cradle, actually, where he can sleep. So I thought that was kind of a cute story. And the book is green, which is appropriate. So that's our book for our mixed-up popcorn. And so this is going really well. It's getting thick, and it's bubbling. You have to be careful, though, because it can really really bubble over. So as you can see, this is kind of a way of making a, a candy coating, like when you buy the um, caramel, caramel corn, this is what they've put on it, the brown sugar and everything. Now if you wanted to make this into like a caramel sauce, a lot of times you would add heavy cream and that would make it creamier. But um, for what we're doing, we want it to kind of harden. And while this has all been going on, I've been preheating my oven to 250 degrees. Because after we put this on our popcorn, it's going to have to bake for a whole hour. Gee, I don't think we have an hour of video on our phone. So what are we going to do? Hmm. We'll have to see. So this is cooking very nicely. <clears throat> we only have like half a minute left. And I think I think we're pretty good here. So yep, and as I said, since my thermometer isn't working, we're just gonna kind of eye it. But it's very bubbly and it's very thick, so I think we're good. And I think oh let's say it's done. Let's see. Can I stop? Whatever, it'll go off. Okay, so we take it off of the heat, turn your burner off. Then we add two other things. We add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla is something you would use if you're making a cake or something. So we'll do a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'll find my half teaspoon measure. We use measuring spoons. There's usually, there you go. There's usually um, a teaspoon measure, a tablespoon, a half teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. So we'll stir in the vanilla. Put that off to the side. And then we stir in an eighth of a teaspoon. Again, that's a funny measure. A baking soda. You put baking soda in, I think what that does is stabilize the mixture and helps it harden better. I think that's what, what it's used for. Don't know all of the chemistry involved. And when you stir that baking uh, soda in, it kind of bubbles it up. So that's why you have to be careful. You want to use a big enough pan so if it starts really bubbling. See how it turns light and it's kind of smooth and bubbly? Okay, now 
And the next thing we do is, you know what, let's come back over here close. Take our mixture. That's not too hot. And we pour it all over our pan filled with our popcorn mixture. And you want to try to get it as even as possible. So you can go back and forth and up and down and scrape the pot out. And again, you would have mom or dad do this. See, my pot cooled off enough that I'm not using a pot holder, but you might have to, so you have to be careful. Okay, so that's all you got. Put that away. And now I'm going to move this all around. How are we doing for time, Chloe? Um, one minute and 30 oh, seconds. One minute and 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay. So this will get all smoothed around and put back in the oven for an hour. And you check it every 20 minutes and stir it. Okay. And now I'll show you what it turns out like. Here's our finished product. And see, it's all nice on the paper. You want to taste, test a piece, Chloe? Yes. And I'll test some. Yummy. You want to get a little bit of everything in your handful, right? You want some of those lucky charms. Mmm. Very good. Very good. It's sweet. Minty. Mmm. Has a nice flavor. You could add nuts if you want to. You could put pecan or peanut or whatever. And you can use this formula for any mixture you want. So everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. From me and from Chloe and from Bob. Bye guys, enjoy.